Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly value, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Knights, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, femininity coach and author, The Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So I want to talk about Black China's transformation, right? Now, she's saying that she's on a more or less a, a spiritual journey at this point. Um, she's removed, she's dissolved the facial fillers, she's removed the BBL, she's removing has removed or is in the process of removing these various body enhancements that she has had over the years. And there are a lot of Black female celebrities that have reversed that whole BBL situation and a lot of other body modifications that they've made. Um, many For many of them, it made them sick. We can think immediately of K. Michelle and her story about it. And just generally speaking, a lot of black women who were in the limelight, whether they were Instagram models or video vixens or whatever they were, entertainers or what have you, who were getting all these BBLs and taking all these pictures. And it was such a big thing. And it was such a glamorous thing to be done are now reversing and walking it back. So what it seems to be happening is that there is a little bit of an end of an era, end of the BBL era. I want to know what black women learn from that. What did y'all learn? What did we learn from the BBL era and now the end of it? Are you all going to follow um, black China's lead now? You followed her lead when she was doing foolishness. You follow her lead when she was running around here having two babies with two baby daddies. You followed her foolishness when she was acting out in the media, either by herself or with her mother. You were following her lead when she got all in BBLs and took all the pictures and ended up on this magazine and ended up in this place, that place, blah, 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 blah. Seemed like she was living her best life. Seemed like she was really, you know, doing her thing. And you followed her and the likes of her, not just her by herself, but you followed the likes of her in the form of these other black women who were doing a, the similar, a similar thing, making a whole bag. You follow her foolishness when she was on OnlyFans. Now she is saying that she, um, I think she went to school to become a pastor or something like that. A mother came out to say that she didn't believe this transformation and all of this other type of stuff that's going on. What I want to know from black women is, are you going to take that cue? You took the foolishness cue, but are you going to take the betterment cue? Because whether she's faking and fronting or not, whether this is an actual transformation or a publicity stunt or not, most of the time, black hyenas follow celebrity trends, black celebrity trends. So if the trend becomes being more modest, um, covering yourself up, being more spiritually minded, um, not being so sexually driven, not having only fans, not hoeing for money and, and all the various types of different hoeing that you can do now. So, so now that, you know, online and social media is a thing, you can do a lot of covert hoeing. You don't have to hit the track no more. So I wonder if that becomes the trend with black women. Are the hyenas going to follow suit or y'all going to still be hyenas in the boneyard? Like this is a serious question for me. Because it's seeming like after this country has put into the media about Black women's image, supporting the tomfoolery of Black women's image, supporting Black women in the strong and independent, supporting them in being overly sexualized and overly sexually objectified and things of that nature. 
being the Jezebel and all of that. This country has perfected that narrative and that for black women and got black women to buy into it themselves and perpetuate these tropes and these images on their own. You've done it on your own. You've made excuses about it. You've talked about how there isn't really any other way for you to be. And this is a wonderful life that you're living. And all of these perks and, you know, upgrades that's been going on with you since you've been living like this. If the tide turns, if Zaddy starts putting out more images, more positive or modest images of black women and more feminine black women are the masculine ones going to turn feminine are y'all going to be black male identified then if that become the trend because you follow every trend you follow stupid trends you follow trends to your death so i want to know if the trend become being a lioness or at least faking like you a lioness are y'all hyenas gonna put on your lioness fur now and at least try to act like you can walk through the pride lands without being harassed. I'm curious to see what you all will do to survive because we've seen, unfortunately, how low you will go to do that. We've seen what you will do to your children, what you will do to each other as women, what you'll do to the men We've seen how you've torn down a community. We've seen how you've torn up families. We've seen how you've passed down mindsets that do exactly those things. And you call that surviving and doing what you have to do as women and, you know, looking out for your own best interests. If Zaddy changes the script to say that a black woman's best interest, what's in her best interest is to act like a lady and be feminine instead of masculine, are you all going to flip? It would be interesting to see that. The environment might make you do it, if you can do it. Because this, the socioeconomic landscape is about to change drastically, and I am no guru when it comes to that. I am very, very much in need of education when it comes to you know, social politics and what's going on with the economy and what's going on. Like, I'm not very astute when it comes to politics and things of that nature. And people can see that. People know that. But I'm keen enough and aware enough to know that the writing is on the wall. And that all of the foolishness that you've been able to get up to and get away with because the society helped you to get away with it by supporting you in the various ways that you would have needed to be supported because the men you pushed the men out i know that's gonna change so now what will you do for a klondike bar will you act like a lioness or try will the narrative change Will black men all of a sudden not be that bad? And you had the stats wrong. Is there going to be a hyena civil war about it? I'm going to sit back with popcorn and watch that if that happens. Because I know y'all get to cannibalizing each other on, on certain issues. So if that become an issue, I would love to sit down with a Chicago mixed Garrett popcorn and just watch that from the rafters. I'm actually happy for Black China. If this is real for her and she's really trying to turn her life around to be a better person and a better woman, then I'm happy for Black China. Okay? Because it seems like it appears as though she's trying to come out of the lost value system. She may not ever so say those words or know those words. But you know when you're trying to actually get your life together and you actually trying to put forth a tangible effort to do so. Seems like she's trying to put a tangible effort to do so. I hope that it's real for her, this transformation into a better person and not some type of publicity stunt. Because nowadays you kind of got to ask. And I hate to question people's change or people striving to be improved. So I'm not going to cast no aspersions on her. For all I know, this woman could be, you know what I'm saying, on her way to greatness somehow, for all I know. I don't know.
I'm hoping that she achieves goodness and gets out of the lost value system because that's that's where we need to be. I just want other black women who followed her into foolishness. I want to see if you're going to follow her out. Or are you so stuck on foolishness that you're not going to follow anybody out? Or you'll find reasons, negative reasons. To, to not pay her any attention or any women like her that decide not going to live this little 304 life no more. I have my feel of that. And not only am I just going to be a retired 304, I'm going to actually do a transformation. I publicly was uh, into some foolishness, so I'm published, publicly going to do a transformation as well. This is just a question I wanted to know. It seemed like it's the end of the era of the BBL and the fake body miles. I wish y'all would end the, the lace front era. End that. I wish y'all would end the baby hair era coming down to your eyebrows. End that. Please, God. End that. End the claws with stuff all on your fingernails and little trinkets and charms. End that, too. And and end 90-inch uh, knotless braids. Stop stepping on your braids and sweeping the ground. Can we end that? Thank you. All right. Just wanted to bring those things to your attention. Also, jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.